Hello all, thanks for tuning in to Real or Fake. On tonight's episode, we're going to be discussing if the Apollo 11 moon landing was a hoax or a real thing. Let's get to the cafeteria where we're going to go ask some students their opinions. Hello Mr. Felgoys, how's it going? It's going pretty good, how about you? Good. Uh, we're just here to get your view on if the moon landing was a real thing or was it just a elaborate hoax? It's an elaborate hoax, there's no doubt in my mind, there was no man to ever walk on the moon ever. Do you have anything to back that up that you'd like to share with us? Yeah, there's like green screens and stuff, and I have the most reliable source of all time. Mr. Brian Dresden, who broke Darrell Scott's rushing record in a playoff game, uh, 1,600 yards on the season. He says the moon landing's not real, therefore it's not real. The end of story, period. That's it. Thanks for having us out today. Of course, this is great. Mr. Brian Dresden, how's it going? <laughs> it's going excellent. It's going excellent. Thank you. What's a guy like you, like a leading rusher in the NFL, yeah, as yeah. yourself, um, uh -huh. what are your thoughts on the moon landing? Well, my thoughts on the moon landing are that it is basically a multi-trillion dollar elaborate hoax, as is NASA. Uh, no astronaut stepped on the moon in 1969. The entire thing is a lie. Uh, yeah. I respect it. I respect it. Thanks for meeting with us today, Brian. Thank you. Chat Money, Chad, how's it going today? It's going well. Uh, yeah, we're just out here interviewing people in the lunchroom, trying to get uh, opinions on if the moon landing was a real thing or was it just an uh, elaborate hoax. <laughs> uh, I think Personally, I think it's fake. Uh, I don't really believe in that. Um, I think it's pretty easy to stage. And, uh, yeah, Mr. Redican, how's it going today? Excellent, Mr. Supro. Good, that's good. Uh, yeah, we're just out here, as you know, we're getting everyone's opinion on the moon landing. What would you like to say? I just want to say... It's fake because NASA got rid of the documents. I don't know why they would do that if it was such a monumental thing that happened in history. So it was fake. I, I like that. I like that. Thanks for meeting with us. Hello. Yeah, today we're meeting with PW's best security guard, Mr. Frank Roush. How's it going, Frank? Good. Nice to be with you. Um, yeah, could we just get your opinion on if the uh, Apollo 11 moon landing was a real thing or was it fake? Absolutely real. You think so? Yes, sir. Thanks for meeting with us, Frank. <laughs> As we can see, we can got, we got Bob Mann in the lunch line over to our right. Uh, we're going to go see what he thinks about the Apollo 11 moon landing. Come with me. Mr. Bob Mann, how's it going? Good, how's it going? How's that sandwich, Jason? It's really good. Yeah, today we're just getting everyone's opinion on the Apollo 11 moon landing, seeing if it's real or fake. What are your thoughts? It's fake. You think so? Yeah. What do you have to back that up? If it wasn't me up there, it's fake. You think so? That's all I got to say. Thanks for meeting with us, Bob. Hey guys, we're here with Jared Cohen. He's going to give his thoughts on the uh, Apollo 11 moon landing. What do, you, what do you think? Was it real or fake? Oh, it was definitely fake. And I think it was Obama that faked it. <laughs> Bruh. Hey guys, we're here with Mr. Bolin getting his thoughts on the moon landing. What do you think, Mr. Bolin? Is it real or fake? Uh, it's absolutely true. I've always thought that the, the moon landing is real. Uh, some of the, the conspiracy theories against that, you know, you look at them online, they just look like some hack job uh, created them in his basement. So, it's Completely. Right. Thanks for meeting with us. Yep. Thank you. Hey, we're here with us, Snack Davis, PW's uh, best guard. Uh, what are your thoughts on the Apollo 11 moon landing? Was it real or fake? It was fake. Why do you think that? Um... In the video, you can't see any stars. Like, in the video of the moon, you can't see any stars. I respect it. I respect it. Thanks for meeting with us, Snack. Have a good one. Guys, we're here with PW's top golfer, Dylan Goodrotney. We're getting his thoughts on the Apollo 11 moon landing. What do you think, Dylan? Was it real or fake? It was real. You think so? I do believe it was real. Do you have anything to back that up, or is that just your thoughts? That's just my thoughts. I think it's real. Sounds good. Thanks for meeting with us, Dylan. Thanks for meeting Hello guys, we're here with uh, PW's most prestigious teacher, Mr. Hackett, and we're going to get his thoughts on the uh, Apollo 11 moon landing. So, uh, I love your microphone, by the way. Thank you, thank you. Uh, I 100% think the moon landing is real. No doubt in my mind, fact. It is fact. Do you have anything to back that up, or is that just your thoughts? I was there. <laughs> oh, he was actually there. That's why we hired him. Okay, thanks. How's it going, guys? We're here with PW's two smartest students in the entire school, uh, and we're just here to uh, get some opinions on the Apollo 11 moon landing to see if it was a real thing or was it just hoax. Hold on one second. All right. No problem. <laughs> oh, sorry. Yeah, so the Apollo moon landing, um, there really isn't enough evidence to back it up. Like, honestly, it could just be a set for all we know. Completely. Yeah, like, it could just be, like, some monkey, like, you know, 
scratch and stuff, like, woo, and then they like did all this like CGI effects and stuff. Yeah, like editing. That. So, yeah, editing and photos. So you're saying it's a monkey in a uh, costume? Or it could be like a monkey, and then they're twiddling like a banana in front of his face. Like, woo, woo, woo. <laughs> yes, he jumps off the spaceship yeah, on, yeah, onto the platform, yeah, which is the why, moon. Yeah, exactly. So that's the the first step for mankind is really the first step for monkey kind. Am I right? Also- we're part of the Space Society, and it's a widely known fact that in 1969 they had extremely advanced computers and technology, so they could easily fake this. Of course. There's just no evidence exactly. that it could be real. So. Thank you, guys. Thank you, guys. Yeah, Appreciate no it. All right, Mr. Golubeski, thanks for being with us today. Uh, could we get your incentive on uh, if the moon landing was a real thing, or was it just a hoax? Well, I wasn't alive, but from everything I've read and I've seen, I would assume it was real. Thank you, Mr. G. No problem. Uh, yeah, today we're speaking with uh, PW Golf's number eighth man on the team, last place. Uh, how, what do you think about the moon landing? Real fake? What do you think? It's. F- I, I think. I think it's so f- fake. NASA f- lied to every single one of us, and I think they need to. They need to rethink this whole f- deal and do it all again. F- them. Thank you, Mr. Evan Rosenstein. <laughs> what? Bro, what are you talking about, man? Hello, this is Judge Constant speaking, and on behalf of my group, we believe that the moon landing did happen. It is very evident that the Apollo 11 moon landing really happened and was not a hoax. NASA would not lie to us, and even if they did, Russia would have already proved that it was a fake because the U.S. and Russia were racing. All of the theories that go with the moon landing being a hoax are easily proved wrong. And ultimately, the Apollo 11 moon landing did happen. Thank you. Do you think humans will ever walk on the sun? I was just thinking, and thought how crazy it was that a person walked on the moon and Mars. I was just wondering if you think a person will ever be able to walk on the sun too? I know it's really hot, but I'm thinking, if you go in the winter when the sun is, like, 30 degrees, I bet you could do it. Well, if they do, it would have to be at night. Good idea. I didn't even think of that. People are so stupid. Why do they never think of that? Can't believe some people still think that moon landing was faked. If you one up conspiracy theorists, they don't know what to do. The moon landing was fake. Oh, you're one of those guys that believe in the moon? Leap confidential photo from NASA of actual moon landing. 1969. WTF. It's flat. Sorry fam. Neil Armstrong's moon landing. 1969. Colorized. I remember it like it was yesterday. Your flight experienced heavy turbulence? That must have been scary. Stepping info fresh snow. What is looks like? What it feels like. Year 1903. Year 1969. Year 2012. Hi, I'm Buzz Aldrin, and I'm the second man on the moon. Kneel before me. Take a selfie through a toilet roll tube. And pretend you're the moon. We all know the moon landing was staged. It was filmed by Stanley Kubrick. However, it cost an insane amount of money, as Kubrick was a perfectionist, and demanded they film on location. I do not deny the moon landings. Because, a world where JFK riding a mechanical unicorn on the moon is a thing, is a world I want to live in. It's simple. We steal the moon. Faking the moon landing in 1969 would have been harder than actually going to the moon. It would also take the cooperation of more than 400,000 conspirators to keep it a secret. Not a cell phone in sight, just two guys living in the moment, and enjoying each other's company. All American flags placed on the moon are now white, due to radiation from the sun. Great, now it looks like the French went there. Okay Bill, you were right, no voters here. Let's check Mars next. I know there's at least one we left behind. We got here. With a computer less powerful than your cell phone. 
Tell Mission Control. It's Bree. Next time a conspiracy theorist tries to tell you what really happened, present a more outlandish theory and accuse them of covering up the truth. Conspiracy theorist, the moon landing was faked. Me, Piffed, you believe in the moon?